Sure. So um, the, the challenge team have is in security and application security. And okay. they're recognizing that they're not hitting the mark. Um, so vulnerabilities are being discovered too late, for example. So what would um, your first thought, what would your first question, what would your first action be to, and they're asking you for help on how they could improve that. So in terms of vulnerabilities, we found uh, in some somewhere from the application or server, uh, uh, we have to basically identify the uh, the actual the vulnerabilities the level, uh, what severity is there, and uh, we we have to try to resolve the based on the uh, the solution suggested by the the uh, standard uh, standard procedure like uh, uh, OAuth top twenty is there giving the uh, suggestion what how we can resolve that vulnerabilities. So application level we have we can resolve the uh, using the up upgrade to certain uh, 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 page which basically having the vulnerabilities and we can upgrade the latest to result that one uh, somewhere we have the uh, port uh, uh, open so we can close that uh, unwanted access port uh, we can directly uh, stop the access from the uh, uh, globally and we can give the specific for the uh, required resource Okay. Um, thank you. Um, so a slightly different um, uh, question. So um, could you talk about a situation where you've um, helped a, a team with uh, performance issues in their continuous integration or their other tooling? Uh, performance issue, uh, integration, you basically uh, that it could be a performance based on the application performance how the application are used and uh, uh, test level performance also so application performance basically we can uh, use the uh, how uh, what kind of uh, uh, resource we can choose from the deployment side where basically we get the best uh, based in the uh, performance where we get the uh, CPU and uh, RAM utilization so that kind of uh, uh, suggestion we have to do second one we can uh, for the performance level we suggest that uh, uh, auto scaling configuration and load balancer configuration from the application performance of view and uh, we can also uh, configure that uh, integration between the tools which basically <coughs> monitoring the application runtime and we can judge the how application are taking that uh, sort of the resource utilization Okay, um, uh, yeah, that's my first sort of batch of questions. Um, Eddie, do you want to do a couple? Uh, yeah, so um, just looking at your, your resume, it looks like you have a many experience in the DevOps engineering. So just give me some examples of some of the automations that you have uh, done uh, and what tools you use and how are you involved and, and what projects you start to solve uh, in, in a lot of, and by using a lot of the automation aspect of uh, DevOps. Uh, okay, so I have worked with uh, AWS where we have deployed the different uh, uh, kind of applications uh, uh, where I involved uh, for the uh, infrastructure creation using the uh, Terraform and uh, we, we build the multiple configuration. Uh, so uh, in the one shot, I can give you the example where uh, creation uh, creation of the infrastructure resource which peak the uh, build uh, image to deploy uh, ECS image that is a docker based uh, uh, microservice so it basically picked from the uh, artifact server and uh, once we create the infrastructure it will uh, take the latest one and uh, deploy on the ECS uh, uh, elastic container service and once it's, it will deploy uh, and uh, 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 dependent resource also it will be upgraded so uh, that is the uh, overall the configuration from the 
deployment side. So yeah, it does sound very clear now. Okay. All right. So continue the uh, interview. Can Can you tell me what's the difference between a Docker's and Kubernetes? Yeah, so Docker is basically used to, uh, used to handle the microservice level where uh, we deploy the uh, different different set of the uh, different set of the application which basically build from the uh, which will basically build from the uh, different OS level and that uh, uh, that intend uh, intend to uh, deploy the uh, <coughs> deploy the small uh, small level of uh, small level of resource which basically use the lower lower resource and 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 uh, give the base performance basically the base performance over the uh, less less resource uh, where uh, where uh, using docker we can basically uh, build the containers and that basically containers will reuse so we can use the reuse the image and create the multiple containers from the uh, docker image uh, from the uh, docker build Kubernetes cluster, Kubernetes side, we can create the clusters and that that used to deploy in the uh, cluster level, which basically they say is the uh, port 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 level. So uh, it's the next uh, next level of version from where we where, where we uh, where we handle the uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, use from the next level of the Docker configuration. You're a mute, a deep. So yeah, okay. Uh, okay, no, thanks for that. Um, Alex, do you have any other questions? Or... Yeah, just uh, just one more. So um, it, this is. Uh, could you um, you talk about an example where um, you've worked in? Uh, so just to get set the scene in in LSEG, we we work with a number of different partners. Um, and we often have teams where people are working with employees from different companies who are all working on the same project. Um, could you could you talk about an example in your work experience where you've um, where you've worked in that kind of setup, and if you found what you found to be good, what challenges you might have encountered, and then, uh, and what you um, uh, how you managed the difficulties to get the benefits. Uh, just to understand your question, so you are asking uh, if I want to use some deployment or some case where I don't have the enough resource, and in that case, how my approach should be right? It, it was an ex uh, specifically I was asking for examples from your work history, so you could talk about what it was actually like. Obviously, think confidentiality, etc. But um, uh, but yes, when you're working with um, with other companies, um, so if you're if it's a software vendor, then that's a good example. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you mean uh, in some example in my uh, projects? Yeah, that uh, that uh, I found multiple. Uh, yeah. That... Yeah, please. No, please go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Okay, so uh, uh, so you are asking for the uh, my my history of the project where I have worked with the uh, certain uh, resource uh, handling level where how I can uh, uh, come come uh, resolve that particular situation. So uh, uh, so basically uh, resource level basically we 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 have everything on the cloud side where we are uh, uh, deploying the infrastructure over the AWS and uh, uh, we, we have the uh, configuration part but uh, in some case we require a, a resource like a configuration setup where we have to uh, achieve that uh, configuration level of like security group ACL, ACL rules or some uh, route configuration from the network side and uh, uh, gateways, gateway configuration side. So that kind of situation we face where uh, basically uh, network issues which basically not able to uh, uh, boost the traffic on the particular level and there is a certain uh, limitation over the organization rule. We cannot uh, 
create a separate VPC. We should use uh, some particular VPC which basically binded to the over of the networks. So that kind of issue we uh, observed, and uh, we have resolved with the configuration level where uh, we 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 pick the uh, the set of configuration which uh, identify the access rule from the network internal network uh, and access control also we basically uh, so application to application level we can uh, set up the rules and uh, make that configuration from the application application and uh, we create the uh, 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 that the jump host which basically used for the uh, authentication from the outside to jump host and the jump host will basically connect the inside so directly uh, uh, no one can uh, come to the server application so that uh, network level issue we have resolved from there this particular scenario is I hope I have uh, answered your query. Okay, hey, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so um, my, my last question is, did you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, so I um, just want to understand the uh, what kind of tool you are going to use in your uh, DevOps, this particular requirement and how, uh, what is your uh, current uh, uh, approach of the implementation, like uh, what uh, a model you are pulling in the ASL. Sure, so um, we actually have uh, teams doing quite a few different things at the moment. So one of the important uh, tasks is to um, uh, to work with the team, meet the teams where they are, so to speak. So um, some teams have um, um, existing, you know, an existing tool set with quite a lot of continuous integration um, and a lot of tests and, and other pieces being built into it. So it will be looking for opportunities to strengthen that, to add in um, extra security controls, for example. Um, some teams um, are working in a relative, in a very um, fast-moving way um, with with cloud vendors. So um, looking there. We'll, we'll um, you know, they're using um, um, uh, tools off the shelf that come from cloud provider. So, looking to make sure those are those are integrated. So it's, um, I guess, it's a difficult one to answer because we do have um, uh, other things because we've got quite a few teams using different technologies. But I think one of the things that makes it interesting is is some of that variety that we that we need to help the teams. Um, uh, based on what their current needs are. Okay. So are you using uh, AWS or any other uh, cloud provider? Ye yes. Um, so some of the teams, uh, so some of the technologies are delivered um, and implemented on premise um, and some of the applications um, are implemented on to AWS. Okay. I have worked with the yeah, VMware uh, on premise where uh, used the uh, very initially the Terraform started uh, providing the API for the VMware. So that time I did uh, directly work with the VMware. 